Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Music Reviews from Saxville. I am your host, Mark, and I'm coming to you to review the Stephen Curtis Chapman concert that was this past Sunday, uh, May 24th at the Maybe Center on the campus of ORU. Stephen Curtis Chapman um, is a contemporary Christian artist singer, songwriter. The Wikipedia page also lists him as an actor. Uh, so he's he's done a lot of things. He's had an accomplished, very accomplished uh, career. Um, I saw him back on this tour in 2002 in Salem, Virginia. Uh, this is my concert long sleeve t-shirt of Stephen Curtis uh, Chapman. Um, and the experience I had at the the other night at his show was just very uplifting, very comforting, very um, just positive. Just a it just interjected a shot of positivity uh, into both the venue and the community. Anybody that knows his music knows it's very very uplifting, and there were organizations there that were uh, associated with him and his tour. The current tour, or the tour that just ended, Tulsa was the last tour date, uh, is the still tour. Um, but anyway, this one uh, group that was there called the House FM, uh, dot com. It is a radio station, online radio station, uh, I don't think they have a signal here in Tulsa, so they were promoting it all that they have other um outlets all throughout Oklahoma. And I I'll just show you that. Again, the house fm.com. Go to there and find out a, more and a lot about them. I like the way it says Faith Family Fun. Uh they had a table set up and I met um a guy by the name of DC, who was just a really nice guy, very, very nice. Uh, when my wife and I pulled up the venue, he t he told us where the north exit is at. He was there waiting for people who were going to be working the table, and I kind of hollered out to him. I said, "Is is uh, this the north exit?" He said, "Yes, this is the north exit." And then DC, I spoke with him later at the table, and just a really nice guy. Uh, just. Very, very cool guy, and I just really enjoyed meeting him. But anyway, yes, go check out thehousefm.com. Check out that uh, website, and I've already been on there, and it's, um, I'm, it's, I'm going to visit it more frequently now. Um, also associated with uh, the show was uh, showhope.org. That's showhope.org. Uh, they are... An organization started by Mary Beth Chapman, Stephen's wife, and Stephen in 2003, and they promote uh, adoptions. Uh, they uh, specifically zero in on orphans, um, but they also have other things, medical care grants, adoption aid, which is pre- and post-adoption support. Uh, they're a nonprofit faith-based organization. Uh, out of Franklin, Tennessee, so uh, check them out as well. It's just a very, very noble organization. Again, it's show, S-H-O-W, hope.org. Uh, so anyway, I've been on their website as well. So anyway, you can become a supporter uh, of uh, them in some form or fashion. So anyway, uh, my wife and I participated in the VIP uh, seeing uh, Stephen, I hold up the shirt again. I love the shirt, by the way. I need to lose a few pounds for it to fit. But anyway, um, we uh, bought the VIP, which is where you get the the meet and greet, where you get to interact with him and have a picture taken. And so, my wife and I did separately uh, because we paid for two tickets, two VIPs, and um, so I asked him. I asked him, I showed this, I said, hey, listen, I'm showing you the back first. I said, can I get have this in my picture uh, with you? And he said, oh, look at that. He said, sure, bring it in. 
And this is his album from way, way back when. And uh, of course, his big hit off this album, His Strength is Perfect, which is one of my favorite songs uh, that he does. And he did that in concert the other night, too. And I said, would you sign this? He said, yeah, I'll sign it. And so he signed it, God Bless You, Stephen Curtis Chapman. And that meant a lot to me that he that he was a, because they had said it initially that, he, you know, he wouldn't sign autographs. And it's understandable because you have to keep the line moving. Uh, you're, getting, you're getting the picture taken with him. And they used your own phone, um, which is fine. But he, he was so nice and so gracious. And it, the people associated with the tour, the people that were working with him, uh, they were as nice as could be as well. And guys, I've told you this in reviewing other artists and concert experiences in the past. Um, normally, if the the artist is nice and um, just classy, the people working with them are going to be the same. Uh, that's I've, I've I've been to a ton of shows. I've participated in VIPs over the years, and that's normally 9.5 or or 9.75 out of 10 the case or I'll, I'll even say 10 I've never had a bad experience when the the artist or the person considered the star uh is is nice and friendly and just just classy uh normally the people working with them are the same way and uh that says a lot about them and their organization because it's a you know it's an organization it's a business um but he played he played songs if you're familiar with his music songs that um you would expect him to play uh, again his strength is perfect i will be here which is one of my all-time favorite songs a very romantic song uh, of course he wrote it for his wife mary beth um he told stories um about you know uh, how about his career he said that him and mary beth had been to a uh they had been to uh, a lot of concerts this past year and uh, some farewell tours. You know, all these artists are going on farewell tours. He said he didn't plan to have a farewell tour basically anytime soon. I'm quoting him verbatim, which is very encouraging because I want to see him again. <laughs> and I know just countless others want to see him again uh, as well. Again, just interjected much needed positivity. Um, his tour is Tour concert there and I did in his tour. I did. The world's upside down, guys. There's so much negativity. He just has such a positive message. Um, again, a faith-based message. Uh, he is a born-again Christian as well as I am. Uh, but you don't have to be uh, a Christian or consider yourself a Christian to enjoy his music. He just he's a very talented musician, primarily playing the acoustic guitar, and he he played the piano. Uh, but he had, I think, three different guitars on stage with him. And I think they brought him out a guitar. Maybe they switched one out to tune it. Um, but anyway, uh, and he had, he was accompanied by a three-piece band um, on the drums. On um, And then he, he joked about, he said, somebody on this stage said they were born in 1987. Well, that's when his one album came out. <laughs> I think it was the drummer. Um, but anyway, he had two other guys playing with him. And um, it was just it was just a lot of fun and very enjoyable. I'll be posting more videos. And I picked up his latest album. Go pick that up. This is his latest album. Um, Stephen Curtis Chapman Still. And again, this was the, the Still Tour. Um, he played songs off of this album. Uh, Living Color, which is a beautiful song about childhood friend. Um, still, he lit off with Still. And, um, well, I better not tell you too much because he might play a lot of these songs again, even though this was the last night of the tour, the last tour date. And he didn't mail it in, so to speak. He really, he really played well and sang well and just... Um, you know, because I've always heard in the concert industry and music industry, if you want to see an artist, don't go the opening night of the tour because, um, you know, they might, you have to get, you need to give them time to get some kinks work out and don't see them towards the end or the last because they're tired. I mean, touring is, is grueling um, and singing is grueling, but um, if he was tired, you couldn't tell the difference. Just had a lot of energy. And just, a, again, a lot, a lot of positivity. That's the word that keeps coming 
uh, to me. And so go see Stephen Curtis Chapman. And also, I picked up something else at the merch table. And, you know, I, I did a review on my Great White um, concert, and they were selling Great White Beef Jerky, right? Those of you who saw the review, well, this is Stephen Curtis Chap Stick. That's right. You heard correctly. Stephen Curtis Chap Stick. Uh, says here, uh, cooling and soothing. And I'm, I'm sure it is. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me on this latest review of Music Reviews from Saxville. Thank you to all the new subscribers. It really means a lot. Um, you guys are on this journey with me. I'm going to be highlighting some promotions of people that I have met recently in uh, a few videos from now. And people that I've just talked to about the channel and they've subscribed and they have... Uh, family members in the in the music business. I met a really nice guy today, just randomly at a restaurant. The waitress told me about him. He writes his own songs. I went up and uh, met Rusty. And anyway, we'll be talking more about Rusty. Anyway, go see Stephen Curtis Chapman next time he tours. You will not be disappointed. Thank you, guys. Bye for now.